we're honoring Janan Najib today because of her tremendous contributions to the Muslim community and the entire community in Milwaukee through her involvement, not only with the Milwaukee Muslim Women's Coalition, but with so many of the other tremendous organizations that she's involved with. I feel like she's sort of a kindred spirit. So I was just drawn to her because she just had this spirit like, here's what I'm doing. Here's how I think you can help me. Here's how, what I can bring to the table. Let's work. I was like, absolutely. Absolutely, I want to be a part of whatever you're doing. I always tell my friends, you know, when you go to other Muslim communities in different cities in the U.S., um, if anybody ever needs any resources on the Muslim community or on Islam in general, they're always going to the local mosque and the local imam. But over here, everybody comes to Janan. Janan's a person that she doesn't do it for glory. Uh, she doesn't do it to uh, go out there and seek recognition. She does it because it's, it's something that needs to get done. So she really digs in and works to make sure that the, there are these levels of understanding uh, in the community. That has meant so much to me uh, over time, but it means so much to the people in Milwaukee as well. When Janan and I first met, it was strictly as um, people who believed in civil liberties. But what I quickly found out was she's hilarious. She's incredibly smart. She's up on all the issues. Uh, and, and the other women I met with through the MMWC were the same way. Janan is always amazing me because she's actually been running this organization for, I guess, almost three decades. And uh, really, most of that time, you know, she was doing it when, you know, she's been a wife. She is the mother of five children. So what has incredibly impressed me with Janan over my involvement with her is her ability to step in and get things done. She truly is a person of action. And one of the areas where I was able to see this in the last year was the Afghan refugees who came into Fort McCoy. Within a very short window of, of time, literally days, she was able to marshal not only her community resources, but all those resources that Rotary was, it was able to provide to provide what these refugees needed in a very short time period. And the management at Fort McCoy actually came back and said the trucks that Janan was involved in organizing and delivering were the most organized and the most needed trucks that they received throughout the entire process. Where I think the passion comes from uh, is from her, inner, from her inner being. I think it's just who she is. You know, some folks just have that drive. You know, they get up and they go because they want to make a difference and they want to see tangible results on the ground. Janan's one of those people. Regardless of whether they are a brand new uh, guest to this country as a refugee or a well-established third or fourth generation doctor's wife. She understands the entire scope of humanity and what people need at what point in their lives. She has that innate ability. I feel like you can't leave a meeting with Janan not being more informed. Janan's work over years and years that she's been involved in Milwaukee has been extremely important for understanding. No matter what side of town you're on, Janan has been a force. Like I said, she's a great spokesperson for the Muslim community. But she's actually a great spokesperson just for, I think, people of color in, in, in general in Milwaukee, for women. So you can't see her in action and not become a big fan. I often talk about you know the need for us to have partners and partnership in Milwaukee, and there's no better partner, I think, concerned about bridging gaps uh, between peoples than Janan. When Janan Najib someday takes a well-deserved retirement, they're going to have to hire four people to replace her. She is just, she's a brilliant woman and she's fierce. And again, like I said, for people like me, that combination, I mean, how can you not be drawn to that? If I could just clone Janan and put her in every different community in the country, I think that this world will be a better place for it. <laughs>